got Jerome Powell out there saying, hey, we're going to cut, 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 and cut away some more. Jackson Hole, Wyoming, it turns out the labor market wasn't doing as well as they thought, so they got to cut. The time has come for policy to adjust. The direction of travel is clear, and the timing and pace of rate cuts will depend on incoming data, the evolving outlook, and the balance of risks. We will do everything we can to support a strong labor market as we make further progress toward price stability. With an appropriate dialing back of policy restraint, there is good reason to think that the economy will get back to 2% inflation while maintaining a strong labor market. Mm-hmm. So, wishful thinking, let's hope it works. You know, these guys, um, they're going to give it the old college try. The risk you run, of course, is that if it doesn't work and then you create more inflation, you're going to have some problems, which is why you're going to have to temper this in other ways. Perhaps don't do an Inflation Reduction Act again to the tune of billions of dollars in which you then inflate prices. Don't do Kamala's ridiculous idea of $25,000 for each and every new home buyer for the first time, right? If you never bought a home before, she's going to give you 25K towards your first home. And hey, if you came here from another country or your parents never had bought real estate before and you're a first generation home buyer, you get a special sweetener deal on top of it all. So what will that do? Well, let college tuitions be a good example for everybody. What does it do? It raises the price of everything because it's free money. And when you have free money, at some point, someone's got to pay the piper, so to speak. So all of this stuff, I'm telling you, like it matters. I think they're, they're crazy. I think they're really crazy. But you know, it's all about getting votes. And so they're, 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 they're doing things that are super political, but frankly, super dangerous for our political well-being and our economic well-being. And this is why RFK Jr. is coming out swinging. And this is why I think you're going to get an injection of excitement that is going to really start to take off. Again, look at the poly market poll, 52% now predicting. This is where the money is, okay? This is what people are betting on. They are saying that Donald Trump is going to be the president in 2024. And just look at this, look at the electoral map. This is where it all is. So we'll see. I think a lot of people are very hopeful. 